All right, so to have both branches installed, being Evrim, Alega, CR testing, whatever, you're going to need to have one of them downloaded. I have Evrima. Then you come here, properties, installed files, browse. Then you're going to come to common, DIO, and you're going to put a name to it. As I have Evrima, I'll keep it Evrima. Then I close it, uh, come back here, beta, and then you're going to download the one you want. If our testing is open, you can download our testing. I'm going to download legacy, so none. I'm going to wait a little bit. Alright, it's downloaded, so we can hit play. And then it's going to start the legacy. And Clearly everything here is messed up. Oh wait. So yeah, here we have legacy. As always, legacy has a problem finding server, so you need to connect via IP. Basically what you need to do is well close the game, come to the Steam properties, here at the launch options, you're gonna write connect. And then you're going to paste a bunch of numbers here that you can find on Google searching for legacy servers. I think I have a IP here somewhere. Yes, here. Then you're going to paste the IP that you can find on Google. Hit enter just to make sure. Then click play. Then you wait a little bit. And then you're gonna connect your server. Then you can play. Now for to switch for to Evrima, you're gonna open the properties, you're gonna take off this because you don't need. Then you're gonna come to the installed files, browse, common, and then you're gonna see we have two DIO here. One that is Rima, one that is Diaio, Legacy. You're gonna make this one, name it Legacy, so Steam cannot read it. And then Evrima, which is the one we want to play, we're gonna put Diaio. Exactly as this one shows. Diaio. Then, hit play. And there we go, we are in Evrima without having to download the game again. And then you're gonna see that the... Well, everything is messed up. Because when you switch from one game to another, the settings get really messed up. It is horrible. So what I advise you to do is that every time you switch betas, being or testing, being legacy, being every mod, doesn't matter, you're gonna start the game, then close it, and then you press Windows R. And here, you're gonna type this little thing. Local app data, DIO, save it. Okay. And then, config and delete it. And then you come back to Evrima. And you can do your new settings. That's it. Deleting this will only get rid of the current settings you have and then make them again when you enter the game. So you start fresh clean and you won't have problems with the keyboard messing up, the mouse not being able to click and other stuff. So yeah, easy as that. Just change the name right here. If I want to go back to Legacy, I will rename this Rima and Legacy I will rename Yaya. And there you go. Easy as that.